Hey fellow boaters, I wanted to put together this quick video on this alternator conversion that I did for my Mercruiser 170, which is a 3.7 liter four cylinder with the uh, the Ford head on it. Uh, I've seen a few different conversion kits on uh, the internet and some of them are $250, $350 and I thought, well, I can do something cheaper. And I made this for less than $100. So let me uh, go through and show you what I, what I bought and how I did it. Um, I decided to go with a name brand alternator. This is not a one wire. It's a, a two wire alternator. It's a 12 SI, which gives it the higher uh, cooling capacity fan on it. It's plastic, but uh, they say it does cool better, which I figured would be better in this uh, enclosed space. Uh, this is an AC Delco 335-1094. Uh, I got this alternator off of Amazon for $60. I think it was $59.99 with free one day shipping. Uh, I also use this Spectre Universal uh, alternator bracket, um, which also came from Amazon. I think it was $15. Also with free one day shipping. Um, and I got this 40 inch V belt from O'Reilly. I think it was $7. Um, and then I also had to get some hardware, which was a, a few bolts. Um, what you'll need is, is a two 5 16 by two and a half inch uh, X bolts uh, for this location here and this location right here. You'll need a, a metric bolt, an M8 by 60 for this adjustment bolt here. You'll need a 7 16 by six inch bolt for going into the head here. Um, you also need some, some washers, lock washers and flat washers. Uh, I put them on each side of this so it, it slides real nicely. Uh, this piece right here that's going over this bolt is a piece of 3 8 water pipe. Um, I think it was a 3 8 uh, by 6 inch nipple that I cut the, the uh, threads off and cut it to exactly 3 inches long. That gives you support there. Um, and then <clears throat> you'll also need this piece right here. Um, which is, I think this is a 5 16 just regular steel tubing, and I cut it at 1 and 3 8 inches long. Um, this universal bracket I had to cut off, cut short, and, and drill a new hole through it. Uh, it was several inches longer. Uh, you'll see it when you look it up on, uh, on Amazon. And uh, I just had to cut it off and put a new hole in it for that bolt, which is a 5 16 uh, hole. Um, you you want to make sure that you don't cut it off at the, or you don't place this at the wrong angle. You got to watch this so that it curves around the alternator just right. Otherwise, you won't get the, the sliding action that you're looking for for your adjustment. Um, I also took a piece of angle iron. <laughs> and cut it at uh, two and five eighths inches from the center of the bolt hole to the top. This, uh, this is just giving you a rest, a place for the, the bottom of the alternator to rest on so that when you, when you put tension on the, the belt, it does not want to pull the alternator down towards the uh, fly or the uh, balancer. Uh, that keeps it nice and steady and uh, you know, makes it less likely that you will break off this bolt in the head. Uh, it should be pretty much impossible to break it off. Um, I had a little bit of trouble finding this 7 16 bolt. Uh, I went to Lowe's at, at first and they 7 16 is apparently a uncommon size. They had a few. Uh, they only carried it in a grade 8 bolt. 
Um, you don't want to put a grade 8 bolt into your head. Uh, grade 8 bolts have no flex whatsoever. Uh, you want this to have a little bit of flex. Uh, that way, if, if, if it does move around, or if it does want to flex a little bit, it will, it will flex and not just break off in your head. Um, uh, if, if you put a grade 8 bolt in here and it broke off right here, right at your head, you would have a heck of a time drilling that thing out. So make sure you use either a grade 3 or a grade 5 uh, bolt at, at the most. This happens to be a grade 5, which I found at Ace Hardware. Uh, it was $3, I believe. Uh, so that's my my uh, alternator conversion kit. Uh, of course, don't forget to disconnect your original Magneto uh, so that you're not doing two, two uh, charging systems. Um, but uh, again, this costs less than $100 to build and it should work just fine. And it's uh, all the parts are easily available from Amazon or Ace Hardware. So anyway, um, hope this helps somebody out out there and uh, happy boating. Take care.